In this video, I want to talk about how to lock your iPad for a baby or for a child. And the purpose or the reasoning behind it is that when you lock the iPad this way, your child can only use one specific app that is currently open, the app that you set, but they cannot leave the app, they cannot make any purchases, download anything, and simply cannot really do anything else besides playing a game or watching a video, depending on what you choose. So you pretty much lock the iPad to one app. And the setup process is rather simple because it's all integrated into the iPad OS. So you just go to the settings and navigate to accessibility and there is guided access. So if you tap on it, you obviously have to make sure that it is enabled. As you can see, it even has an icon with the lock in it, which means that it is designed to lock the app. So uh, it just keeps the iPad in one single app, like I said, and it allows you to control which features are available to start guided access. So because we are locking the app, we also have to set up a passcode. So usually the Face ID is going to work or a Touch ID depending on which iPad you have. But uh, this means that the other person, as long as they don't have your face, they cannot really unlock the app or get out of it, get out of the guided access and do something else with the iPad. So the Face ID is the way to unlock it. But you can also set a passcode. So if you tap on this, you can set a passcode which is specific to this guided access function. It's not the passcode that you use to unlock your iPad. It is a different one. So make sure to remember it and not forget it. But using biometrics like Face ID or Touch ID is pretty reliable, so you don't even have to set up any passcode. And uh, there are also time limits, which means that you can set a specific time for the other person, for your child or baby in this case, to use an app. Like you can set 30 minutes, you can set an hour, and uh, that's the time they can use the iPad for. And you can uh, actually make a sound alert for them to know or for you to know that uh, the time is about to about to end, that the time's up, and it's just going to play a sound and have the remaining guided access time spoken before time ends. Of course, if you turn on the speak feature. I'm of course going to show you how it works in real life, so just stick with me. And also another important feature is the display auto lock. And this means that if the other person is actually using the iPad and you don't want them and you are sure that they're not going to leave the app and do something else, you probably don't want the app to be locked because they cannot really use it again. So here you can also set a different auto lock for guided access. This doesn't affect your regular auto lock, which it can be whatever you want. If it's default, it's going to be the same, but you can set a different one for the guided access. And you can also enable the accessibility shortcut, so it's going to show up every time you want to leave the guided access. Anyways, the way that it works, and I'm going to show it to you right now, is that you open up pretty much any app, like be a game or anything that you'd want, and uh, you then triple click the side of the iPad. I mean, the, of course, the power button. And then you're going to be presented with the menu like this. So in uh, the three of the corners, you have some options. You have cancel, you have start, and you have options. If you tap on options, you can actually modify the way the iPad can be used during your guided access. So you can enable the top button. You can make it uh, working or not working. You can uh, decide if you want the other person to use volume buttons, to use motion and keyboards, to have access to touch. Perhaps you just only want... Uh, the display to to show content and you just don't want the user your child or whoever to interact with it And you can also set a time limit So if you set and turn it on you can choose how many hours and how many minutes uh, They can use the iPad and remember in the settings we chose uh, to have a sound alarm before at the end of it so it's gonna alarm on, and tell the user that the time is about to be up and they only have a certain minutes left. Okay, once you are happy with this, you just click on a start and the you ha of course have to set a passcode. This is naturally the other passcode for guided access. It's not the same one for the iPad, even though it is okay if you use the same one as well. You just make sure you don't forget it. And you, of course, verify it because it's a new one. Like, of course, in the settings, we could have created the passcode beforehand, but we didn't. We just wanted to use Face ID, but we still have to use a passcode. So right now, you are inside the app, and we can use the app normally. Like, you can do whatever you want with it. Unless you would want to leave the app. There is no 
uh, uh, gestures. There is no such thing as leaving the app. You can really access control center. You can get to the notification center. You can really trigger a Siri. I mean, it just doesn't work. You are limited to using the app the way uh, the uh, it is it was intended to use. And if you, for example, click on the top button, you, you're gonna tell, you're gonna be told that the guided access is enabled, and you can triple click the top button or use Face ID to exit. So if you triple click the button, you can actually use the passcode and type the passcode in, and now you can end it, you can resume it, or you can modify the options. So if you click on end you uh, pretty much leave the guided access, you can leave the app, you can do whatever you want, you have a free iPad. So this is how you can effectively control what the other person is doing with an iPad, how to lock it for your child, for a baby, it is really nice and like I said, if you, for example, have a baby, you don't want them to click around, you can disable the touch and they can only view and watch videos. And that's just amazing. So I really do hope that I helped you with this, and if I did, and if you found some value in the video, hopefully you enjoyed it, of course, and if you did, leave a thumbs up, and you can also subscribe so you don't miss future uploads. Have a great rest of the day, and we can see each other in the future videos.